Hey yo everybody, Haku here with a brand new Monmusu video that I have been working on for a little bit of a hell of a while. And this is my top 25 Monmusu girls from the game only. The ones that like, that are introduced first in the game and are from the game. Even if they make a cameo in the manga, these are just um, my favorite ones from the game. And I'm not going to base this off of the actual gameplay itself or anything but more on, like, not on their usefulness in the game, but I'm going to base it on how much I like their designs. It's more of a top waifu thing, I guess. So it's about how much I like the designs, how much I like the personality, things like that. How creative I think they are, how good-looking, how much I love the personality, how fun they are, stuff like that. So um, that's what this is going to be based on. And I may do this again for the uh, Monmusu introduced, of course, in the manga. And I believe counting Kot and Tun as like one package together, there are 27 from the manga. So I might do a top 27 at some point later on for them. But for now, this is going to be my top 25. And as with my other top videos that I've been doing, I will be making an Imgur gallery where I'll probably just rank all of the girls in the whole thing. And I'll post that in a couple weeks or whatever when I'm done with it. And like leave a link to the video in that and leave a link to that in the description whenever I get it done so that maybe it can bring more attention to everything whatever. These 25 are going to be ones that I think deserve more of the outfits and add-ons added in and um, one of them I will give you a hint already has a second outfit a second character version for them so that is going to be a hint, and they're actually pretty high up on this list. But these are just ones I think deserve more love and attention, and the ones I like the best. So, um, I guess let's go ahead and get into this. Number 25 is my girl Fran. Ooh, Fran. Okay, so this, the stitches are really, really cute. I really love the whole scientist kind of design that really does... That, that kind of appeals to me, but um, I, I really like her design. think Fran's really cute. If there's one thing I can say that maybe is the reason that she's not higher up on the list, it's probably because I don't like colorful hair all that much in anime girls, so the hair may be a bit too animu for me. But um, Fran definitely is solidly in my top 25. I almost wish... I almost wish I could put her a little bit higher than that, but there are a lot of really good characters in the game to put on this list. Number 24 is Kalolo Murica. So, um, Kalolo is another one I really like. Barely made it into the top 25, but, um, I really think her outfit is super cute. Her personality is pretty cute. Not not the best, of course, but it's it's pretty cute. I like the whole new to Japan sort of thing. And I really think her little rabbit feet, her little paw feet, are really freaking adorable. So, Kalolo, 24. Number 23 is Bima. Now, Bima, I think, has this whole really cute, the little, um, arrogant kind of thing that's, I don't know, it's really adorable. And I really think that her eyes and hair are really, really cool looking, like that deep amber red and yellow color. It's really, really cool looking. And I also think that her wings and like her wingspan and I guess her legs too, they're like the coolest looking, in my opinion, they're the coolest looking of any of the harpies we've had in either the game or the manga. So when it comes to harpies, Bima, one of my favorites for sure. And of course, when it comes to the girls from the game, she is my 23rd favorite. Number 22 for me is Kep. Now being like shy is the cutest thing ever for me. So the shyness is super adorable. I absolutely love her hair and her outfit as well. The way, I don't know, it just kind of goes together. The design's really cool. I think the legs are really cute too. So she's just really freaking adorable. Mostly for the cuteness factor. Well, call Chris Hansen and PETA, but, um, pu Puppy Lolly got that ass. And, and them legs. 
and and them eyebrows. Oh my gosh, those eyebrows. But seriously, Ku is hilarious. I freaking love Ku. She is, of course, my number 21 choice for the top girls in Monmuzu Online. And um, I guess also I think it's really, really cute the way she says Wong or bark in her sentences a lot. Her voice isn't exactly what I would imagine to match the uh, character design that much, but I think it's really cute nonetheless. Number 20 is Halifa, and she is just all kinds of sexy. Like, just all kinds of sexy is basically the only justification I have for putting her this high. Also, I absolutely love her hair, the way it's just like super, super long and messy. I. I don't know, I think it's really cute, and yeah, m mostly she's just very, very sexy. The 19th best girl, in my opinion, from Mamuso Online is Fee, the Twin Tails old lolly, but um, I, d I don't know, that outfit is just really, really super cute, even if I don't really like the Phoenix species that much. The outfit is super, super cute, her design itself is really cute, and I really love the way that she talks, the way she has sort of the old-fashioned um kind of I don't I don't know how to describe her way of talking other than old sort of like the um old Japanese like I don't know I just love it I love the way she speaks most of all from the character number 18 of course is Froze and Froze is again just super sexy I um I really love her personality I think her personality is great and um I guess other than that, I really think the faces that she makes and like all of the different scenes with her are hilarious. I just, I don't know why, I always laugh at her faces that she makes. So Froze, I absolutely love, love the personality and the face and also just j look, it's, it's going to be on the side of the screen. She's very, very sexy looking. So 18, Froze. Slay Queen Slay. <laughs> Number 17 is Queen, and if you want to know my thing, what I am into, it is insect girls. I am... that that, that is 100% my thing, and out of all the insect girls, Queen has an amazing body. I mean, Queen is super, super sexy. Her personality, also pretty cute to me. So, um, yeah, insect girls, it's, it's kind of my thing. Number 16 is Pirati, and I, I don't really know why her name is Pirati. It doesn't seem to have much to do with her or her species, but um, either way, I think that um, other than bug girls, there is something else I am very much into, and that is stockings, and she has got that going on. Dem legs, dead ass, and really her face is super cute. I don't exactly always like pointy ears, but I, I just, I don't know, I think she's adorable. I love the whole twin tails thing as well. So, um, Pirati deserving of 16 as we move on into the top 15. Da Poison Doe. Number 15 is Tito, and um, I, I don't know, I guess hear me out on this one, because this one is admittedly a bit of an odd choice, but when it comes to Tito, I think that I love insect girls, of course. I think she has a really cute face. I think that her body is really cute and her personality, the way she just likes to hide alone at home, I think it's really, really cute. Um, her skin tone, her face, like the eyes and stuff, her hair. I, I just, I really like the color scheme and everything. And there's this weird, weird area for me that she falls into where, to me, she is so scary that she's cute. I, I, I'm not sure how to accurately describe that feeling, but I do think that Tito is pretty adorable. Ni hao, bitches. Number 14 is Fan Long. Now, Fan Long, I was really excited when they added her. Her hair is so cool looking, and her eyes as well. I love the color for her hair and eyes. I love the gold and red because those are two colors I really, really like. I think that her dragon body is like so freaking cool and the antler horns and everything. So I love that and also her human body is pretty damn rocking too. So I don't know, I really love Fan Long and I think she's an amazing addition to the game. So um, yeah, number 14, Fan Long. 
Number 13 is M. Emu. Um, M is kind of an odd addition to this list. Once again, you guys know I absolutely love um, Insect Girls, and if it was based on body and design alone, I might put her at number one even, because she is like, the whole Mantis Girl thing is like the sexiest thing to me, but the reason she is somehow this far from number one is just because I, I really hope they come out with a new version for her, a new outfit, because that outfit just does not match her very well to me. Like, it has never seemed to be like, be like fitting for me. It just doesn't fit her character, it doesn't fit her design very well. So I really dislike the outfit. And um, as well, her personality is very hit and miss with me. Some things, like with her personality, I'm like, oh, I completely love that, that's adorable. And then some things with her personality, I very much dislike. So it's like really hit and miss where I like, it's polarizing where I really love some things, really dislike some other things. So um, M is a character that I do think has great potential though. Like if they add a really, really good add-on for her, like another version of her character for the gotcha system or whatever, then I will completely be up to putting her very much closer to number one. Number 12 is Chion, and dem stone booty cheeks though. <laughs> like I, I freaking love Chion, she's one of those that's pretty much perfect in every way, but she's only at 12 because even though I love her in pretty much every aspect, I love a bunch of uh, I love like 11 other ones even more in every aspect. Um, her actual like body design is completely great. I absolutely love it. It does feel unique from a lot of the other girls, which I really, really like. Her face, again, looks unique compared to the others, and I really love that. Her personality, the way she's a guard, I absolutely love. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure I repeated myself a lot in there. I really enjoy everything about Chion. She just couldn't beat out 11 others. Number 11 is the Kink Butterfly Flare. So um, with Flare, I think that her body looks freaking amazing. She has an amazing body. And her, I, I really find her arms and eyes really attractive. I think her arms and eyes are really, really cute. Um, I guess that's what I like most about the character. Of course, her personality, the Kink Butterfly. She is um, adorable and sexy. I really love Flare, definitely deserving of almost making it into the top 10. Number 10, the first in our top 10, is Yormu and Dem Giant Snake Titties. That That is like, Yormu is one of the sexiest looking in my opinion. Like her snake body, super sexy. Human body, of course super sexy. Dem Giant Snake Titties. But um, I absolutely love Yormu. I love her personality as well. I think it's really unique and I like the way it sort of ties in a little bit, like her quirks tie in a bit to the um, mythos behind her species. But um, yeah, pretty much that's it. I just love Yormu. First in our top 10. Number 9 is Ameth, my big clay girl. She is, um, I find her eyes and her hair really, really cute. I think that, of course, in anybody thinks that Emmeth's body is freaking amazing. Emmeth is great. I, I absolutely love to. I just, I, I really like her personality. Her personality is up there with, um, Chion's is another one that I've already talked about that I really, really enjoy. So, Emmeth definitely deserving to be number nine. I like in different circumstances, maybe she could even make it higher on the list, like if I'm more in the mood to just um, use Emmeth a lot in the game or something, but Emmeth, I love, super sexy, super amazing personality, number nine. Would you fuck death itself? Because I know I would. Number eight is death, and holy god, death is one of the best looking. Death is super, super sexy. And she has, like, sort of a look that, like, the whole, like, uh, metal-ish look, I guess, and the tattoos, that's normally something I definitely don't really like that much. But Death is just so cute, and I think that's the biggest reason. is because when you look at her design at first, you're like, she's sexy in Hall, but she's not really cute. But then, like, play, like, 
getting to see her in the game and stuff and her personality and everything, she is like unexpectedly adorable. Death is like one of the cutest characters and that's definitely why she's that this high up. Also, Dem Bones, the, the bone arms and legs, I think that's really, really cool and unique. I think it looks really awesome, so definitely deserving of the number 8 spot is Death. Number 7 is Ray, and I would get friendly with that ghost. But um, seriously, like, those jeans are like the cutest thing ever. I love that she just wears the jeans, and that's it. And it's, ah... It's so freaking cute. Ray is maybe like I well, she's at number seven, so of course she is one of the cutest girls, also one of the sexiest girls. Just her in those jeans, so sexy. And her body, amazing design. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I can say. I absolutely think Ray is super sexy. Number six is Riza. Um, call me Papa, way, way. But, man, seriously, Riza's got that, uh, that thick tail. Thick. And, um, I, I don't know. I think her hair is adorable. Her eyes as well. Just her face is really, really cute. Her body looks amazing. So sexy how she never wears pants, of course. She has the really, really cute coat to keep her warm. I also think that's super adorable. So, Riza, I, again, like all of these, I love in every single way. And even her really, like, her hands and her feet are, like, really awkward and cute to me. Like, I think it's cute how weird it is, I guess. So, Riza definitely can call me Papa any day. And starting out our top five is actually a newer girl, and that's Shia. And my freaky, like, I don't even typically like centaurs, but Shia is freaking perfect. Her hair, her eyes, her face, her personality, perfect. And my god, dem thighs, especially dem abs. Everybody, like, that is, that is her key greatest feature in a world of perfect features for her. Also, also dem giant ass titties, but um, really, like I said, I don't even typically like centaurs very much. But I put her in the top five just because she is freaking perfect. I, like, I don't think I've been as excited for them to add a character as I was for when they added her. Uh, there was maybe one other I was more excited for that's coming a little bit further in the list. But, um, I just, I, I freaking think Shia is perfect. I really love that they added her. Number four is the only one on this list that's gotten the second character version, the second outfit, since, um, well, since I wrote this and recorded it, but, um, that would be Bisque. Now, Bisque is one of those that ever since the first game out, the game first came out, I absolutely love the character, and I've come to love her more, especially after they, um, released the, what was it, the Spring Breeze version, the Harukaze, or, or whatever version, like, Oh man, I freaking, mm, I, I, I love Bisque, like her ceramic body, her personality, and I, honestly, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure how things would work. I mean, like, is it, is it like a, a, a Barbie doll crotch down there? Like, I, I don't get how it would work, but I would still, I, I would still love Bisque to be top waifu. I am absolutely in love with everything about the design, everything about the personality, call me maestro, like, I love Bisque, and she's definitely, definitely worth being in the top four, but there are three that I think ever since they came out, I've been pretty obsessed with thinking that they're the best. My third favorite Manmusu introduced in Manmusu Online is Rus, or Ruth. Um, I kind of like the Rus translation better, because that's the sort of translation that I've been using from the beginning. I never really called her Ruth, but I guess Ruth is an actual legitimate name. But either way, she is one of two characters that ever since the game's first release, ever since we were getting looks at the characters before it released, I, w I have been like completely obsessed with her since then. Like, she's definitely one of the top two from the very beginning. And most of it, like, her body and the way she looks is really, really, really cute and really sexy, and I like it, 
but that's not even really why she's here. I think she's so high up just because I absolutely love her personality. Her actual personality and the Oto personality and the way they like go back and forth. I really love the whole dual personality thing so much. So she's really up here because of the personality and because like since the very, the very beginning when the game first was like shown off a little and we were seeing characters ahead of time, I've loved her design. Also, I still don't know after all this time, I still am not sure if it's a puppet or an actual part of her anatomy, but either way it's pretty kinky. Either way, I am very much into it, Rus. So number three is Rus. The second best, in my opinion, Mon Musu Online Waifu is my Moth Lolly. <laughs> my Moth Lolly Actia. She is like, that outfit is so sexy. Her little Lolicon body, again, very sexy to me. She is so cute, like the red eyes, the powdery hair, the little feathery antennae. It's all so, so cute. And I absolutely love the sort of like, powdery white skin, I guess, and the the arm and leg fluff I think is super freaking adorable. And the way her nails are like also the powdery silver, just the whole color scheme and the pale with the red and the little purplish tones, I guess, is so cute. I freaking love her. I also love her personality. I guess it's... I don't really know how to describe her personality. Almost like an internet troll kind of personality, I feel, maybe. I don't know, it's kind of weird to describe, but ever since she was added, I've completely loved her, and she very much struggles for top waifu position. Um, absolutely love Actia at number two. My number one favorite girl in all of Monmusu Online is definitely Still Honey. And from the very beginning, when we were seeing characters before the game even dropped, I knew Honey was like going to be top waifu for laifu. Like, she is just like, I'm super, super into the insect girl thing, you know. And her body is amazing. I love the insect parts, her little stinger with the little bow on it. I love the neck, wrist, and ankle fluff that she has. The arms are super, super sexy. I really love her eyes. I think the eyes, the way they look sort of like the honeycomb shape, are really, really sexy and really cute as well, I guess. Her hair and the little antennae are really cute. And really, the outfit, I would love to see another outfit for her, but the one she has is super sexy. Um, I don't know, I just love everything about her, and I knew from the beginning that, like, she was going to be top waifu. And they still have not released any new, any new Monster Girls, in my opinion, that can beat Honey. Her personality, freaking perfect. Body, freaking perfect. The kink of being B-Girl, also freaking perfect. The only, only flaw that she could have is that we could go down in something that Mero would love. We could go down in tragedy, Romeo and Juliet style. She rolls over in her sleep, stabs me with her stinger, and then she dies because bees can't live once they sting somebody and it pulls out their insides. And we're both dead then. So um, that would probably be the only downside to Honey being top waifu. But I I I'm willing to live with that risk. So top waifu, Honey. And as usual, I'm just going to leave a uh, picture of her up here as I end the video. So, um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I, w uh, I, I guess I could say that maybe updates in the future could potentially even change this list. So maybe in a year or so, I'll make a new one. But, um, either way, I will be making the uh, full list of, I guess, my top 100 and some, however many original Monmusu Online girls there currently are. Um, I'll be making a full list of all of them in an Imgur gallery form with all these transition cards and um, new transition cards for the ones that weren't in the video. So um, I really do hope that you all enjoyed this. I, I really hope it was an enjoyable experience for you all and um, that's it. So thank you all for watching and uh, like if you liked this video. Comment down there. Tell me your favorites. I'm really interested. Tell me as well what you thought of my favorites. I know I'm going to get a lot of people saying, Ugh, how dare you? Blink is best girl. But um, that's what this is about. It's about the discussion and the fun of it all. So comment down there and subscribe if you want to. I'm going to be doing more videos on Manmusu. I already have videos on Manmusu. 
And I also have videos about other things like One Piece, Tower of God, The Walking Dead, Kiznaiver, Pokemon, a bunch of stuff. So check out those, subscribe if you want to, follow on Twitter if you want to as well. I'll try to keep you updated there as best I can when it comes to everything, when I'm posting stuff or pushing stuff back. And that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I worked for a while on this one. So thank you one last time for watching, and I will see you all next time.